Hey Hawk community, it's Mr. Carrasco and welcome. It is Friday, April the 16th. We hope that you and your child have had a great week out here at Mission Oak. A lot of things going on in the spring as we prepare for the end of the school year. Check out the updates that we have for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to reach out to us, reach out to a counselor, a teacher, an administrator. Check out the things we got going on this week and in the near future. Congratulations to our staff member of the week, Mrs. Marie McFetridge. Working in our counseling department does an incredible job serving our parents and students. Congratulations to our teacher of the week, Ms. Annabelle Ramos. Teaching in our Spanish department and also helping our girls soccer program. Congratulations and thank you Ms. Ramos for all that you do for our staff, students and parents. Congratulations to our students who were selected as winners in the Fresno State Young Writers Conference last week and also to our teacher Mrs. Lori Jones. Thank you students and teacher for representing us so well at the Writers Conference. Remember also parents and students that you can still purchase a ticket to get a burrito on April the 24th. You may pick them up right at the front of the school. Uh, these burritos are being sold as a fundraiser in order to help raise the money for student scholarships. Please see Mrs. Diane Rees or Mrs. Lori Jones for more information and tickets. Believe it or not, it's time to plan for graduation. We have started our planning for our June 8th graduation ceremony at Bob Mathias Stadium. It will begin at 8 as usual. It will be in person. We will ask people to social distance. Each graduate may invite up to four guests and we will ask everybody to pre-register. Also, before you come to the graduation, you will uh, conduct a COVID self-screening and wear a mask as you come to graduation. We will be sending out more details here in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that, but you can begin to make those plans for that great day on June the 8th. There are still a few students who have not selected classes for next year. Students, if you find yourself in that situation, you need to contact your counselor on Monday. It is important that we get your classes selected for next year. Summer school will be held here on the Mission Oak campus. We do have applications ready to go out next week. So parents and students, if you need to recover credit, or in some cases, there'll be a few classes that you can get ahead on, please see your counselor ASAP. And the CAST test for California will be administered to our junior students only. Again, only our 11th graders will be taking these tests. They will begin their English test on April the 27th and math on May the 4th. See your English or math teacher with any questions, students. And if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of sports going on. So now this week, it's new. We've added the basketball schedule. And those games will begin and be played on Fridays and Saturdays. Contact your basketball player or coaches for the exact dates and schedule. And congratulations to Abby Garcia for being nominated for Athlete of the Week by the Visalia Times Delta for her outstanding play in golf. Last football game is tomorrow night at Bob Mathias Stadium. Come out and check it out if you can. Take a look at all the sports that we have going on. I hope that you're able to go out there and support your child and our students and cheer them on. And thank you to all of our students for participating uh, in a very unique year in all of these sports and representing our school so well. We are very proud of you and what you're doing out on the field, the courts, and the pool. And it may seem like it's early to start thinking about the last three days of school, but again, it'll be here before we know it. On June the 7th, we will have our regular Monday Zoom schedule. However, on June the 8th and 9th, which is a Tuesday and Wednesday, we will return to the distance learning schedule. June the 8th will be an A day, and June the 9th will be a 
B-Day. We'll share more information and reminders again as we get closer. Well, there you have it, Hawk community. You're caught up with what's going on on our campus. We hope that you and your child will continue to push forward as we make it towards the end of the school year. It's going to go by fast. We'll soon be at our graduation ceremony. Until next week, stay safe, stay strong, stay positive, and take care of yourself and each other.